Girl I've been seeing rank me sexually on a list. I'm incredibly conflicted at the moment. The other night I went out with a girl I'd been seeing from Bumble for about a week. We'd hung out once in person but we have been FaceTiming every day now and the vibes were starting to get a bit more serious. The night was incredibly just driving around at night singing and laughing. Some context on the situation, both of us are 19. However I've been with two people sexually but long term and she has been with 20 people however a lot were hookups. This in itself doesn't bother me bc we have talked and that's not what either of us are looking for, we both want a real relationship. Yesterday things got physical and afterwards we were talking. She told me it was really great to my relief so I told her that I had been a bit nervous bc of the number of people she'd been with is much higher. Everything was fine and then she told me I was probably 421st's 4th best. I laughed bc I thought it was obviously a joke and when she continued my heart began to sink. She pulls out her phone and shows me a list of guys she's been with ranked best to worst and I was quiet for a minute then told her that was pretty gross of her to have and that she made me feel uncomfortable. This kinda killed the mood and it was barely recovered since I was in the process of driving her home. Now we talked things out and she apologized, it's also worth noting that I told her she was the best I'd ever had which while inadvertent was technically a ranking as well and may have set a precedent that doing that was okay? IDK I just feel a little gross BC I care about her and can see us dating but now I'm not sure. I need opinions please I'm really lost. Okay, some people raises hand automatically count and measure things. See a building. Estimate its height, but most people like that also filter their opinions for appropriate public consumption. The problem is not that she measured you. Little weird that she keeps a list, but harmless. The worrisome part is that it didn't occur to her that telling you your place on the list was going to go badly. She seems like she's trying to exit hookup culture and get real with relating. If you want to pursue that with her, have a heart to heart about the differences between those two worlds. Bruh this is some batshit level crazy. She is not mature enough for a relationship. This is something you may share with friends but definitely not a partner. Some of my friends have lists of names, for body count purposes, maybe even with emojis, but never have I heard of someone deadass ranking men and then having the nerve to tell him. Like why did number 4 even come to her mind? Is she telling you ways you need to improve so you can move up a slot? Is this what they refer to as, ranked competitive hookups? She said you're not a hookup but she sure is ranking you like one. I mean generally comparing partners, not so bad. Everyone who's had more than one relationship will at some point go, partner X did this a lot better than partner Y, but creating a ranked list. That's messed up, and then just showing it to someone you want to build a relationship with? That's how you end up not building a relationship with them. If, for some very strange reason, I had been in the GF's position, I would have gone with something along the lines of, you're one of the best people I've been with in bed, and there are other reasons that make you the person I want to be in a relationship with, edit accidentally post while carrying dinner in. Ah, it sounds like this girl is suffering from some major insecurities. It's up to you if you want to stay with her, but if she can't admit that she has issues, I would say leave. You can't help someone who doesn't want help, and until she addresses those insecurities, your relationship isn't going to go anywhere. My ex did something similar when I lost my virginity to him. He congratulated me and just started listing every of the 20-something people he's slept with. Not sure about your situation, but this was the first in a regular pattern of him putting me down and making me feel like I was constantly on thin ice, at risk of losing him in the relationship the second I, slipped up, or, wasn't good enough. If you get that vibe, I'd get out now. If it was an honest lapse in judgment on her part that you think you can work past, best of luck. You told her it's gross and made you feel uncomfortable. Good. That's a good step in communication, even if kills the mood. She apologized. Probably good. She may have thought about it due to you stating and may have realized that sucks, or at least that that's something to keep for herself. Nobody is perfect, but that's a base that seems to be possible to be worked on. If the apology didn't seem honest though, dump her. If it was a deal breaker for you, dump her. I think over time, you can adopt the mindset of not having any competition. It takes a higher level of confidence and self-awareness, but with practice, it'll sure help you out and eliminate the anxiety of the competition.
If you really value yourself, and this girl is ranking you below other guys, then I suggest in a relaxed frame of mind, to go back with the guy who's better, than you. Make it clear you value your time and you're only interested in a mutual connection. It is your birth right to be in an amazing relationship with someone who knocks your socks off. Don't put up with the bullshit. But keep it positive and make it clear that you don't have time for playing games and being in some stupid league of who's the better man. If she's truly like that, then you deserve better. You're both there to have a fun time and get to know each other. Don't ignore the red flags, and communicate clearly and positive. I wish you both luck. Yes I think it's difficult in these situations when emotions get the better of us. But also from a logical perspective, you need to clearly communicate that you don't want to be messed around and aren't playing games. Imagine if you had a list of girls and shown her the same thing? I think deep down she wouldn't like to be compared to other girls. It just sounds like she isn't as self-aware and all you can do is make it clear that you won't be compared to other guys because you have to view yourself as the top prize. You are a worthy human being and if she doesn't see that, then wish her well and continue your search in a world of over 7 billion people. It's difficult not to get butt hurt over it, but sometimes people are just like that and you have to let it be. If she continues to hurt you after you've made it clear you don't like it, then she obviously doesn't care about your feelings, and life is too short for that. I wish you all the best my friend. Personally, it doesn't sound like she meant any harm, if anything it sounds like she was trying to reassure you. The people calling her a sociopath for keeping a list are being a little over the top. It sounds eccentric to me but and I'm not slut shaming here nor am I a prude but, I'm a little shocked that someone so young has been with so many people already. I'm not really sure what to think of this, in my opinion it is most likely that she's extremely insecure and she's showing you this list as a power move to make herself seem more desirable. I think you should cut your losses here a relationship with someone like that is going to be full of drama. She needs to grow up a bit before she's ready for the type of relationship you want. Op, reverse the gender on this. You have a close female friend who confides in you that she's seeing a guy who just ranked her in comparison to the other gals he's dated. She now feels like an object, as if her new relationship has turned into a Yelp review. What would you tell her? I think you've just seen her true colors and it's fortunate that it happened before you got deeply involved. I know how disappointing that is but you deserve better. Damn, rip. It doesn't sound like she was being malicious. To keep it 100 with you, this is likely tame compared to the breakdown she'd give to her friends. She likely has a similar convo with her friends whenever they talk about guys and somehow didn't learn that this is a no-no when talking to a guy. Not blaming you at all, it is what it is. Yeah, no. I wonder how she would feel if she found out she was on some douchey frat boys list of girls. If it were me, I'd think that's disgusting. So why does she think it's okay to keep a list herself? Let alone show you, other than that she seems nice and fun, but I wouldn't stick around. Maybe be honest and say something like, the list made me quite uncomfortable, idk if this will really work out. Okay, I'm not going to tell anyone that they can't have sex. I'm all for empowering people. But, this mentality can be toxic for both of you. I would also be cautious moving forward. Don't bail, but I would be cautious and also careful about STDs. I'm a mental health professional and there seems to be a potentially harmful mentality she has picked up that creates the idea that sex is just transactional. She may not know how to have a full relationship, and that includes sex as intimacy. Just be aware, and have some discussion on it. Ask what she wants out of a relationship. Ask what she does when she gets frustrated in a relationship. Ask how she would like to resolve conflict. Ask how she most feels loved and cared for, love languages, if you don't know about them, do a quick Google search. If you are serious about her and your relationship, then maybe some harder questions need to surface. You should get out of your head on this and make it your life's mission to climb that ladder to number one. I can tell you from experience when you build a relationship with someone the sex improves and gets better as you figure out each other's likes and dislikes and learn each other's bodies and how they react. But you should also keep it interesting and adventurous mix it up a bit try new positions, lingerie, new places to make love. Talk about fantasies and or past experiences and possibly try to relive them together and improve upon them.
If the sex is boring it lags and you'll fall down that list further. But don't be self-conscious about it either and don't slut shame her for having a list of fond memories and experiences. There's nothing hotter than a confident sexual woman. And there's nothing wrong with having 21 or 201 sexual partners as long as everyone is safe and responsible about it. You should nurture that aspect of her because if she's self-conscious she'll never open up about her wants and desires and eventually it'll affect other aspects of the relationship. Lots of good advice in here, and lots of people talking about red flags. Everyone has weird habits and makes mistakes. If you like her enough, this is something that can be worked through. Obviously this is a bump early on but it's also a good start to a relationship with open communication. You expressed your feelings and hopefully you felt heard when she apologized. P's starting in the top 4 is pretty good, get to know each other a little better and you'll be at the top. It sounds like she doesn't have the same relationship with sex as you do, or even most people do. I think what she did, and the fact she keeps a list on her phone to rank them, is gross, you are absolutely right to be put off by that. She needs a wake-up call that sex isn't just objective for most people, it is an intimately and personal experience. If she wants to have a successful long-term relationship, she needs to put these hookup habits aside. If this ruins chances for you, that is totally fine. Your feelings are valid and your concerns are legitimate. I think you handled it well in telling her exactly how you felt and explaining why you weren't okay with it. If you want to try again with her, that's alright too. You now know her relationship with sex, and if you can set boundaries that she is willing to follow, then I'm sure it would be fine. But what she did is definitely not normal for serious relationships, and most definitely not cool. I've been with more dudes than this girl, though I'm also more than twice her age not shaming her, just observing facts, and having that many partners has really opened my eyes as far as understanding the importance of chemistry and sexual compatibility. With some people, it really was mind-bogglingly amazing, and with others, it was confusingly disappointing. That said, I've never been tempted to sit down and make a rank list. That is just fucking weird. Maybe this is a product of her still being really young and maybe kind of immature. Ah, you handled this really well by letting her know that her list made you feel weird. I'd feel weird about that too, but I think a lot of people in your position might not say anything because they might be confused about whether or not keeping a ranked list is somehow normal. Kudos for stating your feelings. As far as how to proceed, only you can make that decision. A lot of it depends on how she responds. If she's willing to take your feelings on board and apologizes in a way that feels sincere and meaningful to you, and you really like her, you can probably make it work. If she gets defensive and tries to make you feel shitty for having feelings about this, it's probably best to cut your losses. Because ultimately this is less about the specifics of the situation and more about how you guys communicate and handle conflict. So far the communication sounds pretty good. It's a good sign that you felt comfortable enough to let her know how her list made you feel. But trust me when I tell you that trying to force a relationship with someone whose default reaction to conflict is defensiveness is a recipe for misery. So I've had this exact thing happen to me with someone who I was seeing for a short period of time, though she had been ranking people out of 10 instead of on a list. I personally didn't see any harm in it other than thinking it was pretty stupid and immature. Let her speak with her actions rather than any silly list that looks at one quality. She will find out very quickly what really matters. And to be real, sex changes over time, one experience is not going to be telling of your entire time spent together. You're no expert about the specific qualities of someone else off the bat, that takes time and communication. Don't sweat it, keep enjoying your time together, let it be and let everything else speak for itself. Unlike what I read in other comments, I think she's just not relationship trained. No doubt she's had a lot of sexual partners but probably she never had a serious boyfriend so her words are to be taken in that context. If you think she likes you, I think you just need to let her know that those kind of comments are a big put off up for you, and hope she will take your comments, on board. Other than that 4 20ths is pretty damn good Rocco. Well at least when you two get used to each other and you become the best you'll know for sure it's the absolute truth. Woman shrugging I don't know why people get their panties in a bunch over someone young not being aware of social norms in sexual situations. 
Also the STD panel people calm down lol it's not because someone had 20 sexual partners that they haven't taken their precautions, stop the slut shaming y'all. My friend was dating a girl at the time when she brought up the top 3 guys she would have sex with at a party. My friend wasn't in the top 3 he stayed with her and she ended up cheating on him with his best friend guess who was in the top 3, yup his best friend stay away from girls who do things like this. The fact that she showed you is beyond stupid. I wouldn't even be with someone so stupid to not have common sense that you don't share that with someone and not one at the bottom tier. I'm 28 with my 11th partner and I have a list too and photo album of their face lol but ranked each individually, I never thought to compare them to each other, quite interesting though that she thought of that. Nonetheless, should not have shared it. First off I loved you, no passenger 6205 comment about people measuring things. I would not be surprised that, now that you have been with three people sexually, that in your mind you are starting to rank them not only in categories, looks, height, oral, PIV, anal, how big the orgasm was, skill, kink, etc., but overall. And when you are up to 20 I would not be surprised that the criteria would be more refined. Though I agree with the filter comment though, she should not have crushed your ego by actually letting you know your rank. Apparently it is too soon in the relationship or you need a little more maturity to handle that level of honesty. And it's the last part that gets me sometimes. Why would you expect to be number one on the sexual prowess list? Mathematically you have less than a 5% chance for that. To make it to number four to me is an awesome, high five, gold star achievement considering you displaced 17 other guys and it's only your third relationship compared to her 21st. Put your ego on hold and give yourself some credit dude. If that does not persuade you then think about this, out of 20 previous guys she prefers to be with you. Which makes makes you 121st overall in her book. Hurrah, give yourself a gold star. Now that said you have to ask yourself do you still want a relationship with a woman with such wide experience? I am assuming yes because you knew about it before you got serious with her. If so you have made a serious misstep here in that you have shown how fragile your ego can be and that may have put her off some. My suggestion is to have fun with it and be honest. Take it as a learning opportunity and just straight up ask her was there something the other three did that you can do, position, faster, slower, rougher, gentler, etc. and incorporate that into your routine. This could not only increase your ranking with her but if it does not work out will give you some skills to use in your next GF and confidence and openness to communicate and improve. One of my wife's sorority sisters had a full spreadsheet of dudes she fucked ranked, but also had columns for each of the things she did with them. Like oral, different positions, anal, role play, and would check the column if she did it with that guy. Some girls are just weird man, not everyone is worth having a relationship with. I know it sounds patronizing because I'm saying this as a married 32 year old, but you're only 19 dude, take your time. I didn't lose my virginity till college, but probably have had sex with 50 or so women since then. You don't even know what you like at the moment so if you enjoyed having sex with her just keep it friends with benefits until you figure out what you want. Relax, ah, what you heard is not all it seems. Her words are a calculated message. A bit of sexual politics, practiced by an experienced pole. Gamesmanship, by a skilled gamer. The positive, encouraging part of the message is that she is well satisfied, and does not feel any regret about the three, or however many, or few, that actually, outrank, you, that got away. The cautionary part of her message, translation is something akin to, just don't get a swelled head, is to be expected in this game, especially after only one date. So, while you're off to a promising start, she is not all yours, body and soul, just yet. Now, a gentle caution. If you obsess over this, and I certainly understand how that might happen, you'll turn the bedroom into a battlefield, and effectively write the obituary for this otherwise hopeful relationship start. IMHO your best course is to never bring up the subject again, unless it is to ask innocently whether there's anything she'd like you to do differently during lovemaking. Even then, it is only safe to ask this once, and if you do, do not reference her little ranking scheme. And you'll have to accept her response graciously, whether she's forthcoming or not and let that be the end of it. Ask twice, and she'll realize you're not taking her message in the spirit in which it was offered. Ask a third time, and it'll be taken as a challenge. You'll probably get a sharp reply, and maybe even a lower, rank.
I'll spare you the long explanation about the whys and wherefores of sexual politics, and how her ranking thing works for her as a political tool. If she understands its effective uses as well as I think she does, she will not use it on you again unless provoked. Judging a serious relationship by the quantity and quality of the sex is something people often do at age 19. I'd like to hear from you again when you hit 29. Hope this helps, and best wishes. You feel about the situation this way because you lack confidence in yourself and your experience. Nothing wrong with that, it's just learning experience, you will either evolve and look past it or see as an obstacle forever. Also, nothing wrong with a little comparison. Some people just like cataloging things they care about, I know a guy who enjoys eating out in restaurants and rating them. He got an entire Excel database with multiple categories for it. This is not any different. Kinda surprised at how everyone is jumping on this girl. Like, yeah, it's an immature thing to do and clearly thoughtless. But, vile, my assumption about her thought process. Hmm, Cordy seems pretty insecure about how few people he's slept with. I know guys think this stuff is really important. I want to tell him he's actually quite good, but he's not going to believe me unless I prove it. Say, I know how I can convince him. And, this might be a bit of a reach, but I could also easily imagine. I'm feeling really insecure about how many people I've slept with. Better test the waters here to make sure this issue won't come up down the road. Maybe I'm being a little generous with my assumptions here, but I find it hard to believe I'm the only person in this thread who can relate to the ranking impulse in a teenager. It was dumb to share. It's good she apologized for hurting Op. We're all human. It shouldn't be a deal breaker if Op really likes her. Lighten up, y'all. It's weird as hell to have a list of ranking. I'm almost 30 and have never seen that before. Also, you should probably get a full STD panel and she doesn't seem like the girl that'll settle down to a long-term relationship. Sure, we all want long-term relationship but she obviously has a list and you've been added to it. That's a list she's going to A keep B. Keep adding to cut your losses and run. I honestly don't think it's that bad. It's bad yes, like it's a very rude thing to bring up, but at 19 I feel like people are still making super awkward mistakes like that. If she's been playing with sex like a toy then a list on her phone might be fun, and she might be awkward about transitioning into a serious relationship. I think it's the type of thing someone could learn from and grow out of. Bro literally having a ranking system and it's saved on her phone as a huge red flag. Be careful with this one and don't be afraid to do what's right for you. Also for what it's worth, emo the first time you have sex with someone isn't a true or fair tell of their ability, as it's more of a getting familiar with your partner and what they like, you like. Taking that step and getting on a sexual level with each other. Everybody compares a little bit to their past, internally, obviously and it can be good or bad, but to figure out how good or compatible someone is with you sexually you really need a few occasions. You being with one person isn't a bad thing. I've had sex with like 15 to 20 people, but my friends in relationships get more sex than I do on a regular basis. Quantity does not mean quality. Also, that's weird. To be fair, I was quite weird at 19. I did try keeping a list at one point, but I just did it to remember fun times. But I wouldn't be as tone deaf to tell someone I'm seeing, here's a list of people I've fucked, tell her it's a bit awkward and you decide if you want to continue. People make mistakes, but that's part of dating. You learn to grow and be less awkward. Pass on this chick, seriously. Even if this seems like an awful small thing to be a deal breaker, it really is a deal breaker. She has shown already in the first week that she isn't respectful of other people's feelings. She either was trying to make you jealous in which case she is manipulative and nasty. Or she is just an idiot in which case she isn't worth your time either. Anybody with common sense knows not to say that to somebody. Being with 20 people at her age would have been a red flag for me personally anyways but some people don't have a huge issue with that. She clearly likes attention and she clearly values attention from men because she keeps track of all of the men that she has been with and even ranks them. That is hookup material, not relationship material. I would be out of there so fast. Oof, okay where to start, as someone how slept with many men, women and trans, I would say this is a red flag. No one keeps their count, but you're also young as hell, she sounds very immature and seems willing to increase that count and is proud of it. 
I wouldn't want to be in a serious relationship with this person. Also 20 people by 19, damn, I would be worried about your future health. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you are new, subscribe and click on the bell icon.